Hi, I'm Sue Resig, and today we're going to make something that everyone's been asking about, and that's how to make a Gerson approved hummus. As you know, in Gerson we can't have chickpeas, but we can have split peas. And so what I have here is some leftover split pea soup that I made the other day. And this is what I like to do because it's still it's just a mushy bean, which is what hummus is. It's made from mush, mushy beans. So I've got about a, a cup of split pea soup left here. And I'm just going to put that into my container. And you can make as much as you want. I'm going to make as much as I'll eat today. So I would normally use about a cup of uh, soup. You can make course larger amounts it's just sometimes you have to think ahead in terms of when you're going to eat it in terms of your flax oil okay so I've got a cup of soup in there and you can see it's already nice and mushy just like a hummus would be and I looked at a, a number of recipes to decide what is it that makes hummus hummus what makes hummus hummus is mushy beans and garlic that's the two things that if you can get that done you're gonna have a hummus anything after that is just bonus so what I have here is called a microplane. It's actually a very fine grater. You can use any fine grater that you have. If you don't own a grater, uh, just really chop it as fine as you can. But I find grating it works much better. You can add as much or little garlic to this as you like. This is just raw garlic that's been peeled. I like a lot because there's something about the, the pastiness of the beans that the garlic flavor just gets lost in. It doesn't blend as well. So you really need to get a little bit of garlic in mixed into all of it in order to taste the garlic. So I'm doing four cloves of garlic. That part just doesn't want to grate. Um, four cloves of garlic into this cup of split pea soup. And you see that goes very quickly. It's nice. There. Clean that up. Just a little bit on the bottom. Watch your fingers. Don't go the wrong way. I used to be really good at grating my knuckles. Okay, so you can see I have that and I'm just gonna mix that garlic right in. Now technically we could stop right there, but I have other ingredients and other options because there's other kinds of hummus. If you've gone to the store and seen other kinds of hummus, some of the more popular flavors are roasted garlic, which means you can take a whole bulb of garlic and roast it and add the roasted garlic to this. You can add lemon. A lot of uh, hummuses have lemon in them, so I just do a nice squirt of lemon. That adds a nice fresh flavor to it. Lemon, you can add flax oil. Now, since I know I'm having this today, I'm going to add my flax oil to that. And I'm going to add my whole tablespoon because it does uh, lend itself a, a nice little flavor and texture to it. It helps make it a little more creamy. If I add that whole tablespoon, and you could add dill, if you like a lemon and dill flavor, this is just a little travel container for me. Or I've um, seen ones at the store, actually what we used to buy was the uh, roasted red pepper hummus. I've not tried making it myself here at home before, so I thought, I, yesterday, knowing I wanted to make this video for you folks, I went ahead and roasted a pepper. And I'm going to try grating it. I've never tried this. I don't know if it works. We'll see if it does or not. If not, we may end up having to chop it. Let's see what's happening. Not much. I think we're chopping. Okay. Well, this is how we learn. it up nice and fine. Alright. And you know, the ones I've seen at the grocery are usually minced fine as well. It's not pureed. I think that'll taste good. This used to be our favorite, was roasted red pepper hummus. And I've just not taken the effort or the time to have a roasted pepper. But I was working on some other items in the uh, oven last night and it was just as easy to throw that pepper in there. If you want to try roasting your own pepper, you cut it in half, take the seeds out, and then lay it underneath the broiler of your oven until the skin turns black. And don't worry, I know we're not allowed to eat the black stuff, but you peel all that black stuff off 
and that gets rid of the skin and it had, in the meanwhile it's roasted the pepper it's made it soft there we go Ooh, that looks good and the best way to know if you like it is to taste it and see what else it needs give that one more stir there we go mm, that looks good and I just happened to have a plate of relish vegetables ready. Imagine that. Look at that. It's no more work to have my veggies put pretty on a plate than it is to just throw them all together. So there we go. Because if it, it looks good to the eye, it's going to help it taste good to the tongue. We've got our pretty bowl. What should I try it with? Mm, I'll try it with celery. I've got celery, carrots, yellow pepper, and red pepper. Mmm. Oh, that's good. And that has some kick to it, too. Mmm. I like that. You could add lime juice instead of lemon. What else could you put in there? You could use um, cauliflower for dips. You could use broccoli for dips. Asparagus. Zucchini. Anything firm enough that lets you scoop. Mmm. That's very good. Well, thank you. And that was easy. So I, I hope you'll have a chance to try this. And if you want to know how to make split pea soup, you'll have to either look for the recipe or I have um, a split pea soup video online and you can see how to make the soup. Not too hard. Thank you. We'll see you later.